This is Solo Blues with Rachel Cassandra. In this video, I'll show you how to do a boogie step. To get started, put all your weight on your left foot. Now, touching the floor with the ball of your foot, I want you to rotate to move the heel out. Then put your weight just a little bit on the heel. Our weight is still mostly on this left foot, okay? Put your weight on the heel so that you can rotate the ball of your foot. Push the weight forward to be more on the ball of your foot so that you can push the heel out. Now what's happening? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> my feet are getting very far apart. Okay, what we're gonna try to do while we're doing this movement is to draw this foot along with us. But first, let's master this kind of movement. Okay, stand now on your right foot. Put down your toe, or the ball of your foot. Rotate to put the heel out. Then, with your weight on your heel, rotate. Put the weight on the ball. Rotate the heel. And you just keep alternating. For practice, you can also do this with both feet together. until you feel comfortable. Once you've got that, we're going to change so that our weight is primarily on the foot that is doing this motion. Okay? So I start with my weight on the ball of my foot. I rotate out the heel. Transfer the weight to the ball. Heel, ball, heel, ball, heel. And notice, because my weight is here, now I can easily bring this leg along with me, just trailing the toe behind, okay? You could put just a little bit of weight on this foot, just for balance, have a little bit of stability, but most of your weight is going to be here. Now, some pointers for making this work for you. Uh, remember to keep your knee bent, okay? Not exaggeratedly, but enough to have comfortable movement, okay? And as you rotate, you're going to keep that bent, okay? It also helps you engage your quad so you can keep your weight here, okay? Where this leg is straight and just trailing, okay? Same thing going the other direction, okay? You start with your weight on the ball of your foot, rotate out the heel, transfer your weight to the heel, rotate the ball of your foot, transfer to the ball of your foot, okay? And as you do that, you just drag your foot along with you. Okay. Now, right now, I am drawing just a straight line with my toe. Sometimes people like to add a little bit of wiggle in their hips so that your foot ends up making more of like an S shape. So that's a variation you can experiment with. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. Um, it's normal for you to have one side that's better than the other, so don't worry about that. Um, but I will say, this, with the, with the wiggle, should not be your default, okay? You should be able to do the weight transfer without moving your hips. That rotation should come from the leg, moving your knee back and forth, okay? It is not from your pelvis. Let's look at that from a couple other angles, okay? My basic movement, I have my straight leg trailing, and I change my weight. My hips are stable. With the wiggle in your hips, looks more like this. I'm worried about hitting the wall, guys, sorry. And see that S shape trailing, yeah? Okay. 
If you notice that your movement is very jerky, very stop start, your shoes might be too sticky. I'm having a little bit of problem with that right now. Uh, or you might be leaving too much weight on the trailing foot. Okay? If you're leaving weight there, it's going to be hard for it to move smoothly. Okay, let's see what that looks like with music. 